what is the definition of research so research is a systematic collection of the data and its analysis okay so majorly research involves collection of data and its analysis and to conclude about the particular phenomena okay now today so although it is a common definition of the research but now we'll see are there different types of research yes there are different types of the research so we'll see one by one the types of the research so first we'll classify the research based on the purpose what is the purpose of particular research okay so we'll classify based on the purpose and just take the screenshot okay so according to purpose we can classify the research in the two categories one is called as theoretical research and second is called as applied research okay so what is our purpose of doing the research is it only to enhance the knowledge or is there any applied purpose okay whether we want to apply the research so <clears throat> based on that we can classify the research into the two categories theoretical research and applied research okay now we'll see the first category that is called as theoretical research okay it is also called as pure research or basic research okay pure research or basic research so here our purpose is only to create the knowledge okay so whether it is apply whether it will be applicable or not that is not our concern that is called as what theoretical research okay. so mainly government organization universities are more keen to develop the theoretical research okay so here data is collected to generate the new general concepts for understanding better understanding of particular field of knowledge okay so as i mentioned in the phd we need to find the research gap and find that research gap okay so whatever is not known to the your community research community that we need to find by doing the research okay so in the theoretical research okay what we do to generate the new concepts which will be helping us to understand the particular area of knowledge okay so generally this theoretical research is generally done by you can say generally this uh, theoretical research or fundamental research is done by the either universities or you can say research institute okay publicly funded research institute okay so they don't have the direct application okay this research is not having the direct application okay it may have it may not have any application but so while doing this research we are not bothered about uh, the application we just do this research so we'll move to the next slide so here in theoretical research our purpose is uh, to formulate create theories new theories okay and 
when we form, find this theory is formulate this theory is it is based on some documentary analysis so there there is this fundamental or theoretical research is uh, we can say uh, high level research okay so we need to be very good uh, you can say mathematical uh, background and subject background for this okay so this theories are uh, form so we form the theories here based on the documentary analysis based on the mathematical formulas and high level research so we create some theories here in theoretical research so here our purpose uh, there is no you can say direct end use of our knowledge there is no direct end use of our knowledge here but we just create pool of the knowledge okay so our purpose is only to create the knowledge okay whether it is useful or not like many uh, now oh, many people are taking objection why we are doing research on the moon why are why are you spending so much money to conduct the research on the moon but that research today it may not be having direct application but maybe it have application also on the earth so we cannot take objection for particular research uh, basic research because it can help us to improve the condition of society not now but maybe tomorrow okay so so we have to always create the knowledge we need to always create the theoretical knowledge based on the theoretical research which may be useful tomorrow okay like uh, if you give uh, i can give one example like suppose we have developed the one material but we don't know what will be its uh, application what when we develop the material what we have to do is we have to study the behavior of the material at the different loadings different loads different temperature different situation how it will work okay once we establish the property the engineer can find its application based on its behavior based on its behavior they can find the yeah they can find the application but still that we don't know it is a black box it is a black box we don't know what will happen okay so that is called as what a fundamental or theoretical research okay so earlier Excuse people sir. yes uh, um, i would like to uh, add or, or enquire with you this is called as basic research but if it is uh, complemented with experimental uh, research for example this new uh, material to be developed mm -hmm. suppose i want i want a material for a uh, safe storage of hydrogen in a vessel mm -hmm. so presently what is available a material uh, i'm suggesting and uh, trying to work out a new material by adding uh, uh, example uh, vanadium 121 to mm -hmm. the existing alloy steel mm -hmm. so how it bears for that basically i can uh, complement uh, this uh, type of research with a uh, a theoretical research uh, can i do that no. what i am telling is uh, theoretical research means you are creating you have created the new material okay correct correct you have created new material as it is a new its behavior is not yes. known okay as its behavior correct. is not not known its application is also unknown okay so when we develop the new material you only yes. pro, you are only ex, uh, guessing that it will be useful to your application but it is not like that if when you develop the new material you have to yes. test it rigorously test for its behavior and the different pressure different temperature okay yeah. uh, then and then you will come to know its behavior once the behavior is known we can use for the different application still then it will come, go to the once the properties are known, it will go to the applied research where we have to see for particular application whether it is uh, its behavior is proper. We cannot test Very one cool. single test. We have to test for maybe one year, uh, two months like this. Okay, long duration test. We need to long conduct. duration test. 
that will go to the applied research when material is developed properties are known not known and if you find the properties by testing various testing then it is the fundamental research when once it is uh, demonstrated the properties then when we go for application we have to again test but that will go under the applied research applied research yeah, yeah. that okay. will go under the applied research. so the same frame framework were the uh, you can say uh, the boundary changes, okay? The boundary goes on Appreciate changing. Yes. Oh, thank you. Okay. okay, now we'll go to the applied research. Okay, we'll just see the some <coughs> examples. So we'll see the example. I've already given one example that we have developed new material and we want to know its property when we find the properties of all various properties of that material that is what's called as fundamental research okay i will give some uh, other examples um, like analysis of how different product placement in the store now it is related to the business uh, mm. if you uh, placed uh, different product in the shopping mall on the shelves okay so depending on position whether it is affecting your sales okay so that is a fundamental research how to arrange uh, your product uh, which is to be first which is to be last uh, how to arrange low price high price what what is uh, that that is uh, all will come in the fundamental research okay or theoretical research so it is related to the business okay now next comes uh study how the stress affect the labor product okay okay suppose uh, your employees are suffering from the stress so will it affect their productivity okay how it is affecting so that is the theoretical uh research please understand here we are not studying in our organization. When we study in our organization, it becomes applied. Okay. When okay. we are studying in general, so yes. how the stress affect productivity, it becomes the theoretical research. Okay. Or we can say fundamental research. Okay. Now comes uh, understanding the leadership style in particular company. Like if you study uh, the leadership style in Tata Tata group. So it is different from the different group like you can take other group like Reliance. How the leadership style is different in Reliance and Tata. Okay. So that is a fundamental study. Now uh, next comes uh, so some engineering application. How, how the uh, behavior, if there is a behavior of heat transfer in the flowing fluid, so understand this. So it is not application, but we understand the behavior of heat transfer in the flowing fluid. So all this goes in the theoretical research. So when we are not applying, but we just study the phenomena, okay? So that is called as uh, fundamental research or theoretical research. Here, we are not bothered about uh, end use of our research. So generally, this fundamental research are undertaken uh, by the universities, some uh, publicly funded research organizations. Please understand fundamental uh, research or theoretical research will have application maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow okay because it is a source theoretical research is a source for the applied research please understand but when there is a, a time constraint like industry they cannot do uh, fundamental research because they have time constraint and they need to launch uh, the new product in a short span Otherwise, they will lose the market share. We know that a uh, company called as uh, Nokia. So Nokia's technology, if you see uh, the candy phones earlier, the technology was very 
you can say very good and even we take uh, whenever we want to take the candy phone candy phone means uh, a non smartphone with the uh, key key buttons okay so that technology is very good okay and the battery lasts for maybe one week okay but they not develop the cheaper phones smartphones so they lost the market share okay so th same thing happens uh, industries uh, cannot afford uh, theoretical research fundamental research because uh, they have a short span to launch the new product so uh, the lead is taken uh, by the universities <coughs> to do the fundamental research okay uh, hello sir yes am i audible yes yes uh, sir like uh, in our case also like i am from the industry Mm -hmm. and we have certain knowledge gaps mm -hmm. uh, so what you are talking about like the fundamental research uh, or the theoretical research mm -hmm. so you are absolutely right like uh, we are not investing that much time because we the product life cycle is very short and we need to develop the product and launch it to the market mm -hmm. uh, to grab the market share but mm -hmm. in case like there is a knowledge gap and we are working on a, like you are saying like the, in the uh, now please, uh, please understand one thing uh, that i will uh, uh, stay here uh that don't do the research alone please understand try to take the help of the others okay i am finding that when i give the it is very uh, you can say not a tough assignment still people are uh, arguing and again and again <laughs> what we have to do is if you are not able to solve the problem we have to take the help of others understand yeah so now yes, day so, by so day the exactly. research is becoming interdisciplinary like suppose your industry is having problem you approach any good uh, we can say academician maybe iits nits where they continuously work on particular field they can very easily guide you okay because daily they are doing the same activity okay if you yeah. alone al alone if you fight because they will not charge much uh, fees uh, as i understand okay, okay. so while doing the phd like can i collaborate with some universities to get my work done because we are also doing testing in our labs and studying certain things so can we collaborate with university also and also work with as my phd work is that what you are saying please understand your your uh, phd work like uh, you may not be good in all the areas okay or you may not have a sufficient background okay so you can take help from the others but work you have to do please understand taking the help is no problem like you don't understand anything how to do that you can take that but you do yourself okay like so yeah. you have collaborated with some organization or taken the help from some organization but ultimately your uh, work should be your work okay <coughs> are you getting my point yes 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 but yes. collaborating is not wrong unless it is your own work you are not uh, taking their work and uh, saying that this is my work okay okay no no so in that level it is me, good. yes but any for any knowledge gap or any testing yeah, you can collaborate even you can, you can have other collab. other guide yeah that i am telling you okay when you collaborate like suppose you are uh, in mit you have one guide for less dr x y z then you can also collaborate with industry guide okay you can have the guide which may be formal guide or non formal guide okay you can take the help no issue okay. okay even in the professional life you have to do like that only okay so if you are in industry you are st uh, stuck up and you cannot move forward for further so you have to hire the consultant in india they spend lot of money on other things but they don't want to hire the consultant that is very i will say uh, not good practice okay mm -hmm. so we move now to the applied research so as i mentioned so applied research is conducted uh, to address to uh, to deal with a particular research problem so applied research create the theory to generate practical scientific knowledge so the knowledge they want uh, for completing their project for completing uh, or implementing in their new product 
so that is the applied research okay so applied research is majorly done in the field of science engineering and medicines okay the major field where uh, continuously applied research is done is a science engineering if you see the engineering is also part of the science it is it's evolved from the science and medicine so they have a very huge uh, applied research and when it is applied research they spend a lot of money on this okay <clears throat> so please understand applied research is not starting from the scratch but it it is based on the some knowledge some theories which is developed by the basic research okay so the fundamental uh, applied research is not from scratch but it is based on its foundation its foundation is what is called as fundamental research okay but the target at particular application the target particular uh, product okay so that is called a uh, applied research like uh, when i say he transfer enhancement in the duct uh, but when this uh, this applied research they do like for particular uh, application like uh, cooling in the turbine blade if you see the blade so it is cooled from the inside so they study uh, how the heat transfer will occur in particular blade with that flow okay so that becomes uh, what is called as applied research okay please understand uh, research is a costly phenomenon it takes time it takes money it requires resources machinery man okay so in applied research they are very much bothered about their application okay end use uh, okay so we start with the theoretical research only theoretical research is the you can say foundation uh, for the applied research okay so as i mentioned earlier also uh, whenever we uh, do any research don't make the boundaries surrounding you okay you have to collaborate with the people okay so that what will happen your quality of research will improve okay your quality of you will uh, think in a different way if you uh, do the research alone only with your guide what will have our your uh, the thinking will be only in particular direction so that can change with the collaborating okay so uh, we are seeing uh, this applied research okay so so what we do uh, first basically we start uh, with theoretical uh, framework and then define field of study uh, to identify the possible uh, theories uh, that we wish to test and that can help us in our project okay that is the way we go we start with the theoretical research then define the field of study and what theory is what uh, phenomenon we need to study in uh, we can say applied research that we define and conduct that particular research okay so i can give few examples uh, from the various field about uh, applied research so first uh, example is uh, study of uh, medicine okay so suppose uh, the pharmacist have developed some medicine for controlling the cholesterol for controlling the cholesterol of person so uh, it will be tested uh, on the person drug will be tested and its efficacy will be tested whether it is effective to lower the cholesterol so this is the applied research okay so we have developed one drug medicine for cholesterol controlling okay then we test whether it is uh, doing its work whether it is causing any side effect 
Okay, so we test everything about that medicine. So that will be our what is called as applied research. Okay, so please understand the doctor will not actually doctor will not uh, do the develop the medicine, but it will develop by pharmacist. Okay, it will be tested by the doctor. Okay, because he knows the body better how to test. Okay, then comes. Uh, applied research like uh, creating the algorithm. Algorithm is one uh, steps of instruction uh, for computer programming to enhance, increase the image recognition in the smartphone. This can be applied field. Okay, like we need to create one uh, smarter and smarter image recognition uh, softwares so that they can. Easily recognized, like uh, Facebook. If you go to Facebook, it can re easily recognize your face. If you upload to the your photos, it can possibly recognize you, also your friends uh, surrounding you. Okay, so it is because of this fundamental research. Then introducing uh, genetically modified crops, crop variety to improve the yield and pace resistance. So you, the fundamental, the applied research can be like we, uh, when we generate a new variety of the crop. So what we can do is uh, we can modify the genes and can create the new variety, which will be more productive, will give more yield and it will have resistance to the pest like the insects and all the things okay so that will come the applied research okay it will come the applied research so the fundamental research will be the which type of gene will resist to the uh, pest that can be fundamental research but here we are directly our interest is uh, create the crop variety and sell okay so the crop variety should have give the more yield, more productivity, and it should resist to the insect pest control, okay, pest resistance, okay. So it is the applied research. So next will be to design the method to obtain the pure water from the solar energy with the help of solar energy, like in the coastal areas where there is a seashore, a lot of uh, salty water is available. Okay, but we know that we cannot uh, drink the salty water, so we can use the method to create uh, distilled water, and distilled water can be used for drinking. Okay, so these are the application of you can say applied research. Okay, please understand mostly applied research are funded by the industry. And they are also sometimes funded by the universities if they fall under category of, uh, uh, we can say, thrust area. Thrust areas are the areas identified by funding agency to fund. Okay. So sometimes uh, these are also funded by the funding agencies based on the application. Now we will see the Subtypes of applied research. First is uh, technological applied research. So here, the product is already available. So what we want to do is we need to perform. We need to improve the performance. Okay, like suppose you take the particular car. Okay, so car is already there. Okay, so. Company wants to improve its performance, so that will come under the technological applied research, where they want to improve the performance. Okay, so maybe performance, maybe they will change uh, the shape of the car. So it happens that same model with the different shape will come. Okay, and also they can put a different engine. If they put the engine, they can modify the engine performance. They will try to improve the performance by making it more efficient so that we will get 
more mileage. Okay. So that is called as uh, technological applied research. So already technology is there. They improve that. That is called as what? Technological applied research. Then uh, we'll go to the next uh, applied research type that is called as scientific applied research type. So uh, this is the applied research when we develop uh, the new product. So uh, in earlier times, technological applied field the product was already there. So we just tried to improve the performance, but in scientific applied research, uh, we develop the new product, we launch, uh, for example, new car. Okay, so when we go for this, so we need to predict its uh, behavior. Okay, so what will be its behavior? We test its behavior. Okay, whether it will sustain in the market. So all this uh, new product development things will come under the scientific applied research. So whether we want new technologies to be added, like uh, in the car night vision. Okay, this is the one of the problem in the night we cannot see clearly. So we can add new technology in our car. Uh, that will be our. I uh, will do some research on this. When we when we implement this night vision, what happens? Uh, the cost is one of the major issue, how to reduce this cost. Okay, so that will be applied, uh, scientific applied research. Okay, what can be new uh, facilities that can be added? So it will come under the scientific uh, applied research. Okay, so we'll move to the, now we have seen, uh, According to purpose, fundamental research or theoretical research and uh, applied research. Now we we'll move to the next classification. And that is according to the depth of the scope. So that will do uh, uh, after the break. We'll break, take the break of 12 minutes.